Hey guys, welcome to the Real World Prepper. If you like the content that you see in this video, please click the subscribe button. In this episode, I'm going to ask the question, do you want to know the truth? Do you want the truth? You can't handle the truth! All right, guys, thanks for joining today. Uh, I wanted to start off by saying that uh, there are many people that I have, there are a few people, I should say, that I have made connections with since I started this channel. Uh, other prepper channels and just some of the people who have subscribed and comment, uh, I've learned a lot from you guys. Uh, hopefully you guys are learning some things too, and hopefully we're building a community and we're building uh, a mindset, a better mindset of prepping and preparedness and why we should be doing it, okay? And there's a lot of truths that go along with that, a lot of the reasons why we do that, the truths why we prep, why we do what we do. Um, I was recently quit by one of these people that had been uh, very encouraging, that was a subscriber, uh, that I was also subscribed to. Now, I've been quit by a few people along the way. You know, I mean, if you're in this YouTube game, you realize, you know, you'll gain some subscribers and you'll lose a few and da da da, da Big deal, okay? It's just how it goes. <clears throat> but the reason why this guy quit me is because he didn't want to hear the truth. This particular one I'm speaking of, he didn't want to hear the truth. Um, you know, my channel started off sort of benign enough, I guess, uh, in that I started off with just some prepping essentials and showing some little things and some gear and stuff. But as stated in my about section, we're going to talk about lots of different topics, okay? Because they all pertain to prepping. They all pertain to the reasons why we would want to prep and why we need to keep our eyes open, keep focused on what we're doing, okay? So it's not all, as you've heard me say, it's not all just about putting up some food and water, right? It is so much more, okay? So this one that quit me quit me because uh, to him, God is not real, so I shouldn't interject God into my videos. Uh, you know, these, what he deems to be far-flung scenarios, uh, like our government, you know, might be conspiring against us in some ways or certainly not in our best interest in a lot of ways. That can't be true. You know, he strictly, uh, he, he, proclaims to not be a Christian, he doesn't need a God, he says he doesn't need a God, doesn't believe in a God, that's all hogwash, all that is is uh, causing wars and things like that. And he also uh, thinks that the only thing he's going to have to worry about is uh, storms and natural events and things like that. Well, the truth of the matter is, and I've got just a list of truths, all right? He doesn't want to hear, and many people don't want to hear, the truth that the shit is going to hit the fan one day. He doesn't want to hear the truth that life as we know it will end or change fundamentally one day. Uh, people don't want to know the truth that our government is not on our side. They do not have our best interests at hand. People don't want to know the truth that the right wing and the left wing are of the same bird. People don't want to know the truth that a select few elite control everything. Money, laws, politicians, uh, UN, leaders in all influential countries, Western and otherwise. Our food, our water, our weather, our health care, our medicine. And they don't care about you or me. Okay? People don't want to believe or accept the truth that God is real. Okay? They don't want to believe that our economy will fail, that it's propped up on nothing. Uh, it's not a question of when it does, it's a question, uh, or rather it's not a question of if it does, it's a question of when it does. People do not want to know the truth that our military or black budget technology is easily 50 years ahead of what we have and what we know with our awesome smartphones and all this YouTube and everything that we do, right? Even our weaponry and stuff that we know about, you know, uh, they are leaps and bounds ahead of that uh, in the dark. And that is truth. People don't want to know that truth, don't want to accept that truth. They don't want to know the truth that our water's being poisoned, that our food is being genetically modified in ways that are not to benefit us, 
as consumers of that food, but to benefit the bottom line, the dollars, the pocket, and I believe even more so to benefit the depopulation agenda that, that is going on. Think Agenda 21, Rex 84, so on and so forth. Um, they don't want to believe that our money is worthless. They don't want to believe that our leaders are openly socialist, communist, elitists. People don't want to know the truth that our own government sprays the skies with poisons and, and heavy metals to control the weather and to control us, to control our moods and what we think and how we think, to dumb us down. They don't want to believe that. Uh, they don't want to believe that the California wildfires are deliberate, are man-made. They don't want to believe that the California drought is deliberate and man-made. They don't want to believe that a lot of these weather events and anomalies that happen all over the world Many of them are man-made and done deliberately. They don't want to know that truth. They don't want to hear that truth. They don't want to hear the truth that our public education is actually indoctrination to make good workers who don't ask questions, who don't think critically, they don't want us thinking critically or thinking for ourselves. They don't want you looking at stuff like this and thinking outside of the box the three boxes, main three boxes that they sell on, you know, national news and TV. They don't, they don't want you knowing those truths, okay? Uh, what they do want is for us to be bickering, to be divided, to be on psychotropic drugs, to be drinking as much alcohol as we can and consuming illegal drugs and watching sports and other mindless entertainment, to be distracted and dumbed down and nulled uh, null and void and and not thinking to so just drink the Kool-Aid accept what they say is truth that's the truth they want you to have and that is a big fat lie it is time to wake up to the truth guys if you can handle it if you can handle the truth wake up to the truth so as the real world prepper I want to say prepare now because your time is running out that is all I got today thanks for watching Real World Prepper, we'll catch you next time.